bought a winch, 6,000 pounds, 300 some bucks at the tractor supply. I'm gonna put it in a little stealth winch. 6,000 pounds should be enough. These are about 2,500 pounds. Maybe even loaded up fully, 3,000 pounds. So that's double it, so it should be fine. I was gonna buy the Harbor Freight one, but measurements came up like all the way up here. Would have been nice, but um, the other issue is my steering. So I gotta go with the itty bitty one. But 6,000 pounds, that, that's perfect for a Willys Jeep. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Like one good thing is I got this bar I welded in here. It's an angle iron, uh, two inch. It's welded into the frame. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna tie into this front, back of this front bumper here. I'm either gonna plate it or I'm gonna put two by two. I also got back there in the junk pile two by three, so. But um, oh yeah, I just welded these in there too Just for my flat tone. I do a lot of flat tone. But um, this bumper's not compliant. These bolts are rusted in. So I might just cut these bolts off, pop the bumper off. Weld in a front piece. I already got that back piece and then just tie into it all. Have ourselves a nice little stealth. 6,000 pound tractor supply winch. It's got a wireless remote on it too, so that's kind of cool. Do a little paint job on it. Might even look like it belongs there. Got that bumper off finally. It was kind of hard to get that thing off. Had a fight with it over here. These rusted bolts up. Oh, crunchy down there. Let's see what we got here. We got to continue welds here. And then they didn't mm, continue the plating here, so we'll have to do that. Gonna have to reconfigure this. I gotta go to the metal supplier and get me a one by two here come across and then with that 3 16 I'll tie into this and then we'll tie into this and then I'll probably put a gusset because it's gonna go up like at about a 25 degree angle so I'll probably put a gusset here make it a little bit stronger yeah hmm maybe come to the side up here a little bit stronger it's only six thousand pounds so i could only be pulling other willies out yeah i liked it down stealth wise because you know you could see the iconic grill here so i think this might work i mean i didn't plan it that way but i was just gonna do it like ron's you know ron has it right up on top but it just barely goes like that it's kind of cool so I went under his vehicle, took a bunch of pictures, and I was just gonna do it like that, but I don't know, I was just sat here sitting sitting here looking at this, and I was like, whoa, maybe this will work. We shall see. Next morning, <clears throat> just went to the metal supply, bought some 3 16 plate, 12 inch by four. Just went ahead and spent some money. Also got a one by two. And we're going to stick the one by two right here. And then that plate, I already got it mapped out. Going to make the bend up and back. It'll be like one plate. Then uh, I use that as a template there. But before I get to that, I need to fix up this, this front bumper mount. You gotta take care of all this, rebend it back, weld in back here, reinforce it, cut these off, box that in. 
Um, finish the welds here and underneath and then uh, weld it back here. Then I put that one by two up here. I was gonna use the two by two, but it was already, it was interfering with the front of that steering box. So one by two is gonna have to work and it'll work just fine. I'll weld that straight to that one by two, bend it and then bend it back up to here. And then uh, we'll go from there. Got this thing all boxed in. Yes, I don't have too much to play with here. It's less than two inches, about one and seven eighths. But when I get to this bubble here, it's even less, it's probably one and three quarters. So that two by two won't work. So I'm gonna cut up that uh, one by two that I just bought and weld it in. And at that point, we'll finally be ready for the winch. All right, let's get busy. Hey guys, bent up my, bent up my own little plate here. I bought that brake press on Amazon. And it's a 12 inch brake press. And it did pretty good. 316 steel. Got my lines ready to that you cut out this middle piece here drill my holes and then weld it in here like that got my stealth winch burned in put some gussets Weld it to that that 90 down there. Weld it underneath. Where's that other piece up right here? Yeah, get like that. That looks slick. Pretty slick. Still see my beautiful grill. Strong enough to pull another wheelies out or pull myself out. Be able to get my hands in there. All right, we're gonna test this thing out. Get out of here in my driveway. I was gonna take it to the trail and try to test it out, but that's gonna take too long. We're messing around with this right here. Oops, let's get out of gear. Go to neutral. I turned the engine off because it's sound. Uh,
pretty light. I got this hooked up to this little bitty palm tree. Pulling just fine. It's kind of loud too. Let's turn this wheel a little bit. Easy to control, get my hand in here. Click it into the in position. All right guys, I think we got a winner. Thanks for watching.